What's going on everybody, Jade up here. Uh, today's video is going to be over my tank build for Veteran Kind's Aegis Hard Mode. And we are solo tanking this. Uh, so I'm the only one tanking all the way up until the last ad pool. And then after that, we have uh, Trimmer swap the tank to help out. And then uh, he swaps back to DPS on the last boss. So if you guys have no idea where Skyrim is or anything like that, if you zoom out of your map, north of Craglorn is Western Skyrim. Here's the area. And you just, it's all the way at the north uh, end of the map. So what I'm going to end up doing... I think from, excuse me, I, I don't know why I just keep burping. Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, for build videos, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the character sheet, uh, then pull up alpha gear, and then just kind of go over what sets I'm running with the skills and whatnot, because I think it'll be a little bit easier, so that way you can cons consistently see um, the stat sheet along with everything else. Uh, but what I will do first, though, is go over my stat sheet, and then we'll go over, and then we'll do it that way, just so you guys can kind of see. Uh, so we are using the Lord, Bewitch, Food. Let me go ahead and buff back up. Uh, our physical and spell resistance are going to be pretty much the same throughout the entire fight. It's going to be 30 spell and 31 physical, and then, of course, that's just only with Major Resolve. And uh, when we... Also get buffed up from a combat prayer from our healers. Eventually it does hit us. Uh, we get a little bit higher. So we're well over 32k. And uh, when we swap to other gears like boss uh, boss 1, boss 2, and then the third boss. Um, our physical ends up going to 32k. And our spell resistance is like... Uh, let me see. I think it's like 31k. Yeah, 31 and 32k. And then here's the first boss, 30, 32, and then again the trash bowl. So let me take this off. So again, this is our stats. We're at 45k health, 20k stem, 16k magicka, and again, this all goes up per boss fight that we end up doing. Uh, and then, of course, we have minor toughness, so we go up about 2k there as well. So we're setting about 47k health. By the time we get to the last boss, we're already at like 50k health. Uh, and then when somebody, when we pop the horn, you know, we're sitting somewhere at like 22k. Uh, as you can see here, we're sitting at 21k here. We're sitting about like 22k stam and about like 18, 19k magicka. So we, we have a pretty good resource pool here. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, go over our sets. And why we run what we run. So in the trash pool here. Um, the monster set that we run. As you can see here. All the way down. We pretty much run Symphony of Blades. For trash pools. Uh, boss 1 and 2. And the reason why. Is because um, this helps out with sustain. When it comes to helping uh, your group sustain. Right. So whenever they fall 50% below their primary resource. So if they're a Magicka DPS, they're obviously using Magicka. And if they fall below 50% and I heal them in some way, which could be from uh, Refreshing Path or Blood Altar, excuse me, Overflowing Altar, um, this will potentially proc on them and then give them their Meridia's Favor, which restores 570 Magicka or Stamina every one second, every one second for six seconds. So it's it's a really nice sustain set to help out your group and that's why we run it so we have our two of them are heavy uh, my monster sets are both heavy and um, yeah I've thought about going one medium but I, I don't know I just I really don't care I don't think it really makes that bit of a difference uh, when you get down to everything I, I just doesn't really matter to me you can if you really want to and you want to get some undaunted metal in there one run uh, one medium and then run one heavy it's totally up to you I, I really don't care to be honest 
Uh, but I run one infused tri-set enchant on my helmet and then on my shoulder piece since it's a smaller piece I run sturdy and a healthy enchant. As far as the second set that we're running we have uh, Defile's Dragon which basically anytime you take melee damage uh, you create an aura around you which is basically a big circle it's it's very kind of faint you can't really see it um, I'll actually let me see if I can find some ads around here I know there's like wolves here there we go this is the aura as you can see this right here that's what the aura looks like and there's almost no downtime to it you just gotta make sure that you constantly get hit with the uh, a melee attack So that's what that looks like. And it comes from Lara Marsalak. Definitely want to make sure you try and get a piece of this. Uh, and uh, yeah, basically you, you get hit with a melee attack in this prox. And it lowers the resistance of the enemies by 1320. If you gold this out, the 1320 does not get raised. Because it's a, um, it's a minor. Uh, basically any minors or majors, if you gold it out, it doesn't, that doesn't get increased. If it's a flat value, something like Alkosh, um, when you gold it out, it does, like, the physical and spell resistance gets higher. So I think when it's purple, it's like 2,900, I think. So with uh, Dragon Defiler uh, or Defile Dragon, since it's a minor, uh, it's not going to, the gold, the more gold you put into it or the golder it gets or whatever, right? Even at blue value, it's still going to be 1320. Um, so the pieces we have here is, uh, well fitted for the boots, uh, and pen because I don't really care to farm another set or excuse me, farm another piece or anything like that. Uh, and I'm not going to transmute it. It's just whatever. Um, and then I have sturdy gloves and then head or excuse me, chest and leg are both infused. Uh, you could put trista enchants on all three of these since these are your big pieces here. Uh, you could do that. I just don't really care to. Uh, and then your smaller pieces, definitely you can throw just regular uh, healthy enchants on there. The second piece we're running is going to be Alkosh. Uh, I did transmute all these to healthy. I think a lot of people will need that because the last boss and some of these ad pulls, like some of these ads hit really hard. So the more health you have, the more leeway you have when you get hit. So uh, it's, it's some of these ads like light attacks and heavy attacks hit for, I think it's like 30k. So it's it's pretty disgusting how hard they hit. So definitely throwing on some healthy uh, try traits here will help you out. Uh, I also use uh, shield play or the bracing enchant, which they just changed not too long ago. To reduce the cost of blocking uh, the reason why I'm running this is because uh, the last boss <clears throat> you're pretty much holding block the entire time and uh, if you're not you're gonna be getting wrecked pretty quickly um, his light attacks and heavy attacks just hit really hard so uh, definitely you want to be holding block quite a bit so that's why we're running that. Um, the reason why we're running it on trash and everything else is because, one, uh, I, th I don't think a lot of people have a shit ton of Alcos jewelry. I, I do. I have a crap ton of Alcos jewelry, but I want to make this where it's um, where a majority of people, if they don't have a lot of jewelry and stuff, they could easily just put, you know, uh, one set of jewelry fits all, right? So uh, one set of uh, all healthy will definitely help you out there. If you're running in trash pools and stuff like that, you can run whatever you want here as far as like trait wise. Uh, I just keep healthy just because it <laughs> it feels a lot better having a crap ton of health. Uh, as far as what Alkosh does is whenever you activate a synergy and the direction that you're facing or that your camera is facing, you will shoot a shockwave of like a cone like uh, area. That's going to deal so much damage, and then it's also going to reduce the physical and spell resistance of an enemy hit uh, by up to 3k for 10 seconds. Now, I say up to 3k is because 3k is the highest it can go uh, as far as like lowering the resistance. 
right? Um, obviously, purple is going to be like 2,900, and then obviously the lower quality is going to be lower uh, resistance, right? Uh, so we have well fitted on the shield, and then on the uh, sword, I have decisive, or at least the one handed, just to kind of generate more ultimate, uh, more, and we only run three horns, so the quicker I can get my horn, the quicker I can pop it, and kind of help the other people who are slow as hell getting horn. On the back bar, we have infused crusher. I like to try and apply this on the ad, uh, one of the strongest ads in there, in there, in like the small group that we have. Um, so whichever ad needs to be focused down, I always like to try to apply this to that ad. It's a little difficult to do, but once you get the hang of doing it, it'll it, you can you can get it down pretty good. As far as the skills that we're running, we are using Pure Armor. Uh, now this lowers the physical and spell resistance of enemies uh, hit with this, so that's why we run in. Uh, we are using Dark Cloak. It's almost impossible to run a Nightblade without a Nightblade tank without running Dark Cloak. It gives you your major resolve, minor protection, and a hot. So if you don't run this, then I don't know what you're doing. Uh, Lotus Fan. We run this on our trash pulls because uh, as soon as I use this on an enemy, every enemy around it for six meters gets affected by minor vulnerability for 10 seconds, reducing their, uh, increasing their damage taken by 8%. So uh, really, really good to have. Leeching strikes just to kind of help maintain our stam. And it also gives us stam back and some health when we, uh, when we use our lighter heavy attack. So it's definitely really nice to have. Uh, next one is Heroic Slash. Just to kind of reduce the uh, damage some of the adds take. And also to increase your ultimate gain. Every, um, every 1.5 seconds you gain an ultimate. So it's super nice. And then again with our Decisive trait. Whenever we gain an ultimate we have 20% chance to gain additional ultimate. And Nightblades and tanks in general just gain ultimate so fast. It's, it's pretty ridiculous. So again, with Minor Heroism, as long as you have that up, you're gaining one ultimate every 1.5 seconds. And then, of course, in the Siphoning Tree, where is it at? Um, yeah, when you drink a pot, you gain 20 ultimate. So uh, you, you're gaining ultimate quite a bit. Eh? Anytime you block, dodge roll, stuff like that, you, you can gain ultimate. I run in cap on my front bar. And the reason why is the last paragraph here. While slotted, you gain Reeve, uh, which restores 100 Magicka and Stamina when you deal damage with a light or heavy attack on an enemy with a negative effect active on them. Uh, and if you're in a trial setting and you have the ad pools, or excuse me, and any of the ad pools, there should... Excuse me, I'm sorry. I don't know why I keep burping. Um, in, the, in your ad pools... Uh, there's almost no reason uh, for the enemies not be hit by a negative effect. So um, <laughs> they're almost all going to be hit by a negative effect. So whenever you heavy attack or light attack, you're going to restore an extra 100 Magicka in stamina. So it's super, super, super nice. And in this, and then in this trial, it's um, you're going to be holding block quite a bit. Uh, especially if you're new in here, so definitely uh, think about trying to run this. Uh, as far as our back bar, we're gonna have inner rage. I just like the magicka morph, uh, just just preference. Uh, there's a magicka and stamina morph. It's totally up to you. And then I have refreshing path. Gives us major expedition. Gives us a little bit of heal. Uh, but the main reason I use it for the major expedition, and that way I don't have to use. Um, I, I've been swapping between refreshing path and rapids and rapids is nice but I have noticed that there's a lot of times when I hit rapids there's some slow ass people in the back that never get hit with it and then they complain oh do you get hit with rapids well if if they weren't back there just like finger banging each other like they would probably get the rapids, but they're always in the back, just like doing whatever. So I don't know. They they just need to stop finger popping each other's assholes and stay with the group, and then they would get rapids. So 
That's why I keep swapping between refreshing path and rapids, and it's kind of preference a little bit. Uh, I've keep leading more towards refreshing because it also also procs Symphony of Blades if we're ever running to uh, trash pulls or anything like that uh, they can potentially still get the um, the proc of uh, Meridia's favor so kind of nice there we're all using blockade uh, we're using the morph that lasts longer so there's a uh, blockade uh, when you when you go to pick blockade um, there's going to be a top morph and a bottom morph. You're going to use the bottom morph because unstable uh, lasts for like 8 seconds. Uh, and this one lasts for 14. So definitely want to look at getting this one as well. Just because it, it what it does is when you whenever you lay down blockade, whatever enemy it hits first, it's going to proc the enchant on it. And it's going to proc it on that, uh, that add three times before you have to recast blockade. Just FYI. Uh, Relentless Focus. Uh, this is 100% need this on your bar. At least on your back bar. What you're going to do is you're going to activate this. Let me find this, this ad again. Unless somebody came and killed it. Alright, so as you can see here, we're stacking it up. You want to stack it up five times. And then now what it does... Okay, so what it says is focus your senses for one minute, reducing the damage you take. Reduces the damage you take by 2% for every light and heavy attack, up to five times. Um, so obviously two times five. And what it does is it'll stay up no matter what. So even after this runs out, it'll stay up as long as you're in combat. But the moment you leave combat, you want to uh, definitely look at reapplying it and building your stacks back up. I'm just gonna run away now. There we go. But yeah, you definitely want to look at building your stacks back up. If you're out, of, if you ever run out of combat, definitely want to uh, think about it. Uh, overflowing altar again the reason why we use this is because it applies minor life still to uh, every enemy within 28 meters so if anybody's hitting the ads that's in this um, within 28 meters of overflowing altar um, it has a chance to proc symphony of blades which in turn has a chance to increase their resources if they fall below 50 percent of their primary resource uh, we are using aggressive warhorn, obviously for the major force. Uh, it's on. Obviously, you have to pretty much run that as a support. So we're going to the first boss pool, or for the for, for the first boss. Jesus, uh, we pretty much run the same setup uh, as first boss and second boss. There's no real difference there, so I'm not really going to go over the second boss setup because it's the same as the first. Uh, the reason why I have two different ones is because if I do eventually end up changing something, it's easier to come in here and change it here than it is to quickly make another tab. So that's why I have two setups here. So boss one and two run the same thing, Symphony of Blades. Uh, then we run Yonacrins, uh, chest and legs, both infused with Tristan enchants on there. And then the um, boots, waist, and gloves I have all well fitted. Uh, the reason why they were well fitted, excuse me, is because when we were running um, Sunspire, excuse me, I can't stop burping, I don't know why, uh, we would run, uh, we would be running all over the place, so that's why I have well fitted on. And then, of course, I have all healthy enchants here. Um, if you're holding block lock, definitely swap these to sturdy. Other than that, well fitted is fine. And then again, we're still with the Alkaj. Still the same thing. Decisive. Just kind of pop up more Warhorns as we can. And we're pretty much running the same setup uh, as the first boss. The only difference um, and the reason why we're still running Lotus on the first boss and second boss is because there's adds on the first boss. There's two ads, and they one ad continuously spawns in different locations. So you're stacking the main boss on that, and then uh, the main boss will spawn an additional ad. 
So it's just easier for you to Lotus fan, afflict him with minor vulnerability to, to help kind of like nuke those adds down. Um, and then sometimes the healer had complained about not being able to hit the other ad or, or other ads with minor vulnerability. So um, this, this kind of helps it out a little bit. And that's why we run it on the boss. Uh, excuse me, boss is. Uh, and the second boss, the second boss spawns three ads. Uh, well, spawns up to four different ads that you can damage. Um, and when you use Lotus Fan, everything within six meters again gets hit with minor vulnerability. It's a lot quicker than having the healer turn and try and apply uh, minor vulnerability to um, four different ads in a very quick manner. Or three different ads, excuse me. So that's why we run that. Uh, the only difference is we run Mirage just to kind of help our uh, major evasion uh, because there are a lot of AOEs that come down and then uh, minor uh, resolve is kind of nice too. We should be getting that anyways from combat prayer but it's just kind of nice to have this going with that major evasion. And that's pretty much it as far as like the, the first boss and second boss. Now the last boss bowl that we use uh, is a little bit different. It's a little bit built to help the group and a little bit sustaining wise. So on this one we have stone keepers. Stone keepers is really nice on the last boss because we're pretty much holding block the entire time. Or at least I am since I'm solo tanking it. Um, even if you're main tanking it, it really would help you out a lot if you would hold block a majority of the time. Especially and, and what I mean by that is there's three phases of the last boss. There's the first phase, the second phase, and then the third phase. And the third phase, you definitely want to hold block during the entire time, if not, you know, all the time. Like, it's, it's crazy how much damage he does to you. So, Stone Keepers, whenever you hold block, uh, you gain an energy charge stack. Uh, and it stacks up to six times. Once it hits six, uh, you release it and you uh, restore 2480 stamina and magicka, and then you heal for 2900. Uh, and this, and then it can uh, do it once every 14 seconds. So after 14 seconds, you can start gaining stacks again. Uh, and the stacks gain every 0.25 seconds, so it can go really, really fast. Like as soon as it's time to go, like with within about a second. Um, you, you pretty much have this back. So, um, and then we have chest, or excuse me, uh, head and shoulders. I have both heavy, uh, just because I don't have a medium. And then we have reinforced on the shoulders. Uh, I don't have sturdy peas anyways, so reinforced is fine. And then we have Yonokrins. Excuse me. Which we already kind of went over. Oh, uh, we actually didn't actually go over what the five piece does, which majority of people should know. But what the five piece does is whenever you taunt an enemy, which is your pierce armor or uh, inner rage, whenever you taunt the enemy, you give yourself and 11 other group members minor courage for 15 seconds, increasing the weapon and spell damage by 129. Uh, and then you can reapply this every eight seconds. So every eight seconds you can reapply it and you're pretty much good to go. Uh, so we have chest and legs and fuse with tristat enchants there. And then again, we still have well fitted here. Um, I will eventually change this to sturdy for the last boss. Just, um, just trying to get up enough transmutes to do that. Uh, but yeah, we will definitely want to do sturdy here. Um, if not well fitted. If not, just keep well fitted. Because on the last boss, there's a strat that uh, Tremors had mentioned, in, um, which is basically a row dodge uh, to play. Because on the last phase, I haven't done a guide over this yet, but I will. Uh, on the last boss, on the third phase and execute, or just on the third phase in general, when, he, when the boss goes to heavy attack you, he leaves down a small AoE, which is about 2 meters, I guess. 2 to 3 meters. And that's, that's wherever you're standing, right? So when you, when you dodge roll, it'll leave behind that AoE. 
So what we've been doing is keeping the boss in one spot and then dodge rolling to a specific location and then kind of going back around kind of like in a uh, kind of like a triangle. I guess you start on one corner, you dodge roll uh, to the furthest point and then you just kind of walk your way back to uh, where where you were just at. So kind of like that. And we'll, if you've been in stream, uh, you know what I'm talking about, which we'll be streaming today. It's um, 6, 10, 2020. That's the date, by the way. Um, we'll be str I'll be streaming again today. Uh, we'll be doing Kind's Ages, uh, right? Today's Wednesday, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we'll be doing Kind's Ages. It's the last day of the week that we do it. Uh, so if you guys want to come check it out, you guys are more than welcome to. I'll leave down down in the description down below. I'll put the link and all that stuff there. Um, but yeah, since that's the way we do it now, um, which Tremors had was like, yo, why don't we just try and do it this way? Can you do that? And I was like, yeah, sure, we'll try it out. So it works really well. And then having three well fitted, it helps there tremendously. Um, so... I may actually just keep these well fitted to be honest now that I think about it since I'm having the dodge roll quite a bit at the end yeah probably just keep this well fitted actually um, if you don't have perfected Yonacrins that's totally fine um, eventually try and get it because it gives you a little bit extra health but other than that it's it's uh, it's okay if you don't the other thing that we're using is poisons. Uh, drain stam of your target, increases the cost, blah, blah, blah. But you restore 238 stamina per second. Uh, it's you for every 0.5, or excuse me. Um, restore 238 stamina per second to you for 5.5 seconds. I don't know why that was so hard to say. Anyways, um, I'm using this as well just to kind of help stamina regain. Um, because I'm still really bad at keeping that re, uh, lit leeching strike up. Um, but I think, I think we're finally getting in the, in the swing of things where I don't really need stone keepers anymore. I don't really need the poisons anymore. <clears throat> Eventually I'll start weeding these off, putting something like shadow rend on or something like that. Um, but keeping the poisons or vice versa, maybe taking the poisons off, keeping stone keepers on, then then taking that off and putting on uh, shadow rain or something like that. But yeah, um, we'll start weeding this stuff off. But a as of now, this is what I run. Excuse me, just because that helps out with a lot of a uh, um, a lot of stam recovery. Um. Uh, that's pretty much it. I guess we can go over CP right quick. This is what I run for CP. Uh, 11 is Sprinter. 75 Arc Arcanist. 56 Tenacity. Uh, 56 Tumbling. Uh, the reason why we have quite a bit in the Tumbling is because we are dodge rolling on the last boss. And I've, I actually thought about putting more in here, but I think 20% is more than enough. Uh, and then we are holding block quite a bit, so Shadow Ward for 72. 75 Blast, 72 Alphorn. Uh, I only have three in the Spell Erosion, mainly because there's nowhere else to really put it, to be honest. Um, 13 Staff Expert, uh, 59 Physical Weapon Expert. Actually, you know what? I'm about to change this to Last Stand to get more ultimate on the last boss. But Tactician is so hard to give up. Um, yeah, just leave it like this, honestly, if you're dodge rolling. Um, 48... Uh, it doesn't really matter where you put any obviously in here but as long as you have 120 points in the tactician since you are going to be roll dodging uh, quite a bit it's going to help with off balance up time and since uh, a lot of people don't really swatch swap bars on the third phase of the last boss um, with the lightning staff uh, tacticians really going to help out there so definitely try and get 120 points in there. Doesn't really matter how you put these in here. Just put whatever. Uh, and then zero on the ritual. We have 81 ironclad because we are doing we are getting hit with a lot of direct damage. Uh, put 10 in the spell erosion just to kind of kind of beef up our uh, spell resistance. 56 in the hardy because we are taking quite a bit of physical damage. Actually, quite a bit of physical damage. <laughs> And um, then when I put uh, 43 into LA Defender, 
because we are taking um, a decent amount of um, magic damage as well and shock damage from the line on the last boss and stuff like that so we are taking some um, magic damage there flame damage stuff like that and then there is a quite a bit of dots in there uh, and we really don't really see any dots up until the last boss and execute so I put 44 into here I put 11 in the quick recovery and 25 in the heavy armor focus it's kind of beef up our physical resistance uh, I have thought about taking more points out of there and putting more into thick skin just to kind of beef that up a little bit more. But again, I'm still kind of messing with the CP, and I think I'm, I think I'm pretty much kind of leave it here. Um, we'll, we'll see. If I update it any, then I will definitely leave it in the comment section down below. But for the most part, I think that's where I'm going to leave it. As far as race, I am a Nord. I'm a knife blade, obviously, if you couldn't already tell. Uh, and then as far as like the pots and stuff I use, I am using uh, Bewitched as far as the tricep food I'm using. For the most part on all bosses and all ad pulls, except for the second boss, I'm using tricep pots. Gives you 10k health, 7k uh, stamina mag, and then it also gives you uh, major intellect and major endurance there. And of course, Major Air Fortitude. Uh, but for the second boss, he does a stupid ass attack that freezes you in place. And it's almost impossible to break free out of that as soon as you get hit with it. Like, I'm I'm telling you, what happens is it's, it's something like this. It's like um, Frost Mist is what he'll do. Uh, and then he throws, he points his sword at you, puts an AOE around you, and you try to break free, and you can't do it for at least like a second or two. It's probably the most annoying attack in the game, other than getting knocked back from an ad where you're holding block and then not being able to break free to get back up, like in Hellraw, if you've ever tanked that place, like super annoying. So I use a move pots for that. And it does work. So if you can kind of predict when about he's going to do that frost mist or whatever it's called. You can pop that within about around 8 seconds or so when he's about to do it. And then you should be immune to it. And then you can just easily walk out of it and hold block and whatever. Uh, because there are a lot of times where I was getting frozen and getting heavy attacked by um, the bulwark. Which is an ad you'll see when I explain this stuff in the, in the guide. Um, super annoying, but definitely 100% need to get, I don't know, two, 200 pots, 100 pots, however long you plan to be in there. You, I think uh, I take three pots to the whole fight. Um, and here lately, I've only been taking two. So just to kind of let you know how quick our fights are going. Um, 45 seconds is a cooldown for a pot, and I'm only taking two for the most part. Like yesterday, I only took two. Um, day before I only took two Monday. I had to take, um, I had to take three, but, but that's it. Uh, I don't really use any lingering pots. What would be badass if they had a lingering, uh, pot that gave you health mag and stand back, uh, or at least stand and mag back, but I don't think there is. Uh, but yeah, other than that, that's, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I use. Um, there's nothing else that I use. Uh, yeah, there's nothing really else I use. If you want a crap ton, like if you're struggling on the last boss and you have pretty much the same setup, you have stone keepers, uh, you have the poisons, um, you have Yonacrins or whatever, but you're still getting wrecked. What you can do is you can do Yonacrins and Ebon. I'll show you like how disgusting or how much health you can get pretty it's pretty uh, awesome to be honest all right so we'll throw on that and then we'll throw on Evan as you can see we're at 52 K and then just add 2 K to that we're about like I th actually you know what I think I'm at like 57 K when I have everything going I think it's like 57 K I can't remember what it really is but yeah, it's something like that. It's like 57k or 55k or, 
or whatever. If you were in stream when we first started in here, I had a stupid amount of health. Uh, but yeah, Yonakrin's Ebon to boost you with a crap ton of health. 100%. This is hella good. Uh, if, if you need a crap ton of health. Other than that, man, I, I appreciate you guys uh, watching and uh, watching the video. Hopefully this video will help you out in some way. At least build your tank uh, in some way, shape, or form. Um, thanks for watching. And I'll be updating. I'm coming out with a new build. Uh, a tank build for... Base, you can basically hold block for days. Um, as far as like the shield ulti uh, one, I don't think I'm going to release that. Um, I did leave in one of the comment section when I was running, um, but I just don't really care to release it. Um, yeah, I, I just, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just haven't really had any issue or haven't had any wants or desire to release it. Um, it's nothing against it, against the build or whatever. It's just something I don't really care to release. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I left it in one of the comment sections on, uh, I think, my last video or something like that. If you guys want to check it out. Uh, yeah, other than that, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.